Here's another day in Kuala Lumpur, but today we're getting a lot of rain. So it's the perfect day to spend some time indoors, grab something to eat, and I actually need to do some grocery shopping, so let's go ahead and do that. I think a lot of people are gonna come out to at least go shopping. This place looks nice, doesn't it? It looks really different than some of the other malls we went to. It's different. Yeah, let me just go here. Very green inside. Did you hear what the taxi driver was saying? He was saying this mall used to be a prison and then nobody wanted to buy the land because a lot of prisoners were executed here. Who's executed me? And like died. So they said that because there's like death here, it's, it might be cursed. So a lot of, a lot of uh, people didn't know how to invest in this property. Just made into a mall. And then so yeah, and then finally they made it into a mall. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It kind of does look like a prison. That's cool. I um, mean, the prisoners didn't live in a mall. It was a prison, and I then know. they made it into a mall. It used to be, it used to be a prison. To. Yeah. They a mall for the She's like, where did the pris prisoners live? <laughs> no, they lived in jail. A color changed from green to red. Did you notice? Yeah. Ami, they made it into a mall. It's not, it's not a prison anymore. It's not, it's not where, how the prisoners live. It's so funny. So it's a good day to be at the mall because it's raining all day today. So we're just gonna eat something and then get some groceries. I don't know about the whole day thing. This is really nice coming up. Let me show you guys. Look at the setup, it's very pretty. Look at here. And the lanterns and the cherry blossoms. And then we're oh somebody's taking a picture, so we're just gonna walk around. And then we can go through it. Yeah. Very pretty. Okay, never mind. They're still taking the picture, so we'll just go around for now. This display is really pretty though. And this is what this is what the mall's called, Mall of Fort. It's really empty today and I'm gonna assume that's because it's a weekday and because it's raining outside. You want me to have to run around the whole mall? If you really want to run around, you can. There's a Burger King right there too. Nice. I was yeah, I was gonna record this because I really like how it's lit up. I wanna see how long it takes to go down. Salted egg fried rice. Oh yeah, it's quite good. Oh yeah, we can't eat here. Because that's not halal. But we have Burger King. This looks like the McDonald's cheeseburger. This mall was actually the perfect place to go on a rainy day. I thought it was so beautiful. They did such a good job with the lighting here. And every few minutes, the uplighting changed into a different color. And the kids had so much fun just running around. And we had a great time here. It was actually perfect because this mall also has a grocery store.
We were actually surprised at how empty this place was. I'm not sure if it's like one of those malls that's overpriced, but it did have a very good selection of stores. Okay, we just finished eating and now we are gonna walk around a little bit and then go to the grocery store. Because we're here for another week. Um, I just wanna get like a couple of things, like little snacks and maybe a couple of things to take back with us. Yes, just yet. Shall we get something? Yeah, yeah. Chocolate bites. Chocolate bites. I have one selfie. Well, we have these too, but like this one looks kind of awesome. cool. Looks very digital. There's enough space for three people or four. Let's hide some other. How much is it? It's probably like. Oh, this one, yeah, no, the, 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 yeah, no, the, the blue one. No, the, the light blue one. The light blue. No! The light, the light, I don't know. The light blue one. Okay, it doesn't matter, it's just like the filter, background. Filter, you can change the filter. Um, no. Can take it looks so good! Oh. Alright, let's get out of here. It's hot. Yeah. After eating, we decided to get a little dessert and I really wanted coffee again and I've been seeing white coffee on almost all the menus in the cafes here so I decided to try that and I didn't realize how sweet it was going to be. I'm used to having my coffee black, no sugar, no Not cream right or milk so this was a little bit too sweet for me but the dessert here was so good. Yeah, so this is yours from here. Yeah. This square right here, okay? A triangle right here. Okay. I'll tell you. Wait, no, Baba. Go. Okay, I'll look at the This, this is yours. Okay? This looks really good. No, Baba, that's not good. This is yours, yeah. This is mine. This is Baba's. This is Abba's. This is the grocery store that we ended up going to. It's called Jaya Grocers. And I actually had a hard time finding a good grocery store. I wasn't sure which ones are on the pricier side and which ones most of the locals shop at. So this one is just the one we came to because it was in the mall and we didn't really feel like going out again to go grocery shopping. So do comment down below and let me know which grocery stores are more affordable in Malaysia and which ones most people go to. This store actually had a really good selection of things and it was actually really nice inside, kind of on the fancier side. So I'm going to assume maybe we ended up going to a pricier grocery store, but do let me know in the comments section. This place was so nice. Uh, we're not used to shopping at a grocery store that is all halal. And surprisingly, it actually had a separate section for non-halal stuff. So that's extremely different for us coming from Canada. We go to two different grocery stores usually when we're doing our monthly groceries. So we We'll go to a regular grocery store to just pick up like milk, eggs, and snacks. And then we'll go to a halal grocery store to get our halal groceries like meat and, you know, sometimes like chicken nuggets or burgers for the kids. So this was really exciting and very different. We're actually very lucky because we live very close to Toronto and the area we are currently in is very diverse so we do have quite a few halal grocery stores. So it really does depend on the location you're in. Sometimes you don't really have a halal grocery store nearby so you do have to stock up. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please support my channel by subscribing. I would really appreciate it. I'm gonna go get you guys some eggs. I have not seen that before. I don't know. What? Oh. Smoked spinach. It's probably hard to make it, right? No, it probably just needs to be steamed. You can get it if you want. Since you really like this. Sardine puff. Oh, definitely not. Oh, I thought that's a little more. Look at the samosa. Look at the samosa. You want that? So then I have fish fingers. Prawn dumplings. What? Oh, do they have regular dumplings? Then I can make those. Since we're having a hard time finding them. Did we find them? Yeah, I saw dumplings over there. No, did we find them in Pora? No. The shell is very nice. Yeah. Can I get three if you want? Oh, we don't know which one's which. It doesn't say in English, does it? 
Probably doesn't. Check the back, maybe. Glaze. Honey orange glaze salad. It's kind of cool. Cream pie. I can make orange. it. I mean, they, have, they also have creamy Ooh. Tuscan salmon. You don't like salmon, do you? I don't like salmon. Sorry. It's kind of cool, though. Oh, they have masks. Mashed potatoes! Yeah, it's all frozen, so you could just make an easy dinner, I guess. One second, I want to see this. Okay. So that's the male main. Oh, that looks good. Some of chan. Yes, sir. And then they have the sides. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Spinach. This is the spinach. Yeah, the whole thing in there. It's perfect for Baba because he doesn't know how to cook, so it's like. Nice, too. Look how small this is. Do we have enough water or no? No, we're gonna need to get water, but we can get that from downstairs. Okay. It'll be too heavy. Yeah. So let's see if they have like a small. Uh... Try yeah, I also want to uh, give some like one flavor each for everyone to try. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's a good idea. So they can all make it. And we can vote. Everyone can vote which one's the, the best. Yeah. They look perfect, but they're so expensive. But they're perfect and they're super. Yeah, the strawberry, like the special type of strawberry. The grocery store. In a lot of videos. But it says up there. It's this one, guys. I guess she said we can, so we can. Even in Saudi, you were allowed to take it around in the malls and stuff. Yeah. The perks of having it in the mall, I guess. The perks of having this grocery store in the mall, I guess. Actually, nice because you get other stuff done and it's head out. Yeah, you have your cart. You yeah, can put your like stuff it. in there. You can go shopping. That's so cool, right? It's all the food stuff they have here. We're gonna. Well, I guess we'll ask security. There's a security guy standing. Well, it stops. It stopped raining at least. Okay, here are all the things that I ended up picking up from the grocery store. These things that I got are mainly just to take back and gift and try myself. So I got a bunch of noodles. Big I am, which is like in chicken flavor. I have never seen that over there. Um, also got a, a whole bunch of different flavors. Let's see which one is this. Mi goreng. Mi goreng. Chili. Not sure what that is or how that tastes. Then we got a curry flavor. Um, what is this one? Let's see. Oh, vegetable flavor. Very interesting. Uh, we also have another um, chicken flavor one. This one's a different brand. And then let's see what else do we have. I kind of just forgot what I ended up picking up. Um, this looks like a seafood flavor. And then I saw like this cool Italian one. I have never seen this before. So this is interesting. Maybe I'll keep this for myself to try. Or at least one. Put it over here. And then this one? 
I feel like I've seen before. At least the flavor, not the brand. But I think I've seen the flavor in Canada before, and it was really good. And it's pretty spicy, so... Picked up this as well. And then the kids told me to pick up this one. Let's see. It says ghost pepper, so I mean, things here are already spicy. The stuff that says spicy, so I wonder how spicy this is. Oh, and one more. Totally forgot. This one. I just wanted to try one with like really fine noodles. So yeah, all these I'm planning on taking back. I'm gonna keep some and then gift the rest to family and friends. And also picked up these cute little gummies. Um, as you know, in Canada, we don't get halal gummies, so these are really cute. They're like burgers. So I'm just gonna take this for my nephews. And then there's mini pizza ones. Can't really see these ones. Cute. And then also got some marshmallows, vanilla, and chocolate flavor. These are really cheap. I believe they were like a dollar. And this Kit Kat flavor. I'm not sure if we have it there. It's just not very common. So this looks this look pretty cool. I'm gonna make like little gift bags for family and I thought I'd maybe put this in there as well. So this is just a mini grocery haul for breakfast because we end up waking up pretty late and we're really hungry by that time and i'm just missing home food at this point so i'm gonna attempt to make at least breakfast here um so we've got some eggs just for like fried eggs and i'm also going to make maybe like an omelet so for that i'm picking up some mushrooms i don't really know what kind of mushrooms these are white mushrooms never tried these before so something different just got this tiny red onion i don't want to um, leave anything behind or have to toss anything out when, when we're leaving so just picked up enough to make food for a few days and then that's it i like how these are like individually wrapped so some green pepper and cherry tomatoes We don't have any spices here, even though we have a full kitchen, it's stocked with everything, all the appliances, but there aren't any spices or even salt. So we've got salt and pepper. I got a very small bottle of olive oil. And we got some bread. This is the bread here. It's just like this tiny pack. So we got two. Shrek doesn't eat eggs sometimes for breakfast, so we also got, I mean, he also got this Nutella, like the tiny ones. So cute. Um, we were also missing coffee. We, have, we haven't really had coffee in the mornings here. I just go downstairs and get, get a fresh juice sometimes, so I ended up getting this mini instant coffee. It's so cute. Never seen this size before in Canada. Adorable. Fresh milk. Haven't even tasted milk here, to be honest. So we'll try that. I'm not a big fan of milk as it is, so. But maybe it's better here. And sometimes the kids get hungry after dinner. So Afia really likes this flavor of noodles, so she picked this up. We do have a 7 Eleven downstairs, so sometimes we do get noodles from there. Some yogurt. And for breakfast, I really wanted to try, like everything's halal here, so I never get to try sausages, so I also picked up this chicken sausage. I don't really know how they are. I'm kind of interested to try them. Very cool. I like how the grocery stores here have everything halal, and then they actually have a separate section for non-halal stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's going to be a grocery haul from Kuala Lumpur. I'm going to have to make breakfast tomorrow. 
and that's it for another wonderful day in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.